Hello everyone. Today we will introduce our project. Our project is stock price prediction with stack LSTM with attention mechanism. Our group members are Hao Qi Gu, Jun Wei Li, Jing Yi Li, Feng Xu Tu. Next, uh, here is our task statement. Stock price prediction has always been a challenge task because of the volatility in the stock market. Various attempts has been made using different kinds of traditional machine learning algorithm, such as WSVM, ARIMA, and NN models. Therefore, in this project, we will use a deep learning based method to predict stock market prices for, the, uh, for a certain period. The method consists of a dedicated architecture of a stacked multi-layer long short-term memory with attention mechanism. Next. In the project model design, there are some papers as our reference. Autoregressive integrated moving average model can better understand the data and to predict future points in the series. And Markov decision process on genetic algorithm paper proposed a novel application to develop stock trading strategy. I will generally introduce our project from dataset, models, and evaluation. We use the historical stock dataset from Cargo to train and test our model. There are Shanghai Securities Composite Index, Apple Index, Amazon Index, and Facebook Index. For the models, we plan to compare three different LSTM model architectures, including LSTM, Stacked LSTM, and Attention LSTM. Finally, we used mean square arrow, mean absolute percentage arrow, mean bias arrow, and rise and fall accuracy as our metrics. Let me explain the data in detail. The picture shows the trend of SHA stock price from 1980 to 2015. There are seven features, including debt, open price, close price, maximum price, minimum price, adjusted close price and a volume of changed hands. As for data pre-processing part, the data was split into three parts, 70% samples as training set, 15% validation set, and 15% as testing set. For the architecture, LSTM cell is the essential part. The gate stru uh, structure includes input gate, forget gate, and output gate. The top figure shows the forget gate determines which cell's data information is discarded from the model. The input gate determines how much the current time network input XT is reserved into new cell's data CT. The output gate control how much the new created cell set will be discarded. Due to the highly stochasticity of financial time series, we built up a st stacked LSTM model and a stacked LSTM with attention layer respectively. All the output of LSTM cell as input of attention layer, attention layer has ability to assign different ways to different features, training attention ways to improve our model performance. Here list all the parameter in our model. We use six features to train our model, include open price, close price, highest price, lowest price, and uh, something uh, volume of change hands. So uh, for the stack LSTM parameters, sitting time series length as 20, two LSTM layers, heading size as 100, drop rate as 0.2, bit size as 64, output time series length as one, in addition, training model with Adam optimizer with 0 0.0005 linear rate and 200 epics to predict one day open and a close price. 
In this part, we choose RMSE, MBE, and MAPE to evaluate the performance of our modules. Uh, we know we know RMSE and MBE can show the average error uh, of prediction uh, directly. However, consider we use the real stock price and the corresponding denormalized prediction as input of RMSE and the MBE. We can't we can't just say the model is good enough is the RMSE and MBE is is really small uh, because the RMSE and MBE may be affected by the magnitude of the stock price. Uh, we use uh, we use MAPE in our project to evaluate the relative error, uh, which can get rid of the influence of the stock price itself. Uh, in addition, we want to know if our model can predict the trend of rise or fall uh, of the stock price. We use an extra matrix called rise and fall accuracy. Uh, we define the trend function uh, in this slide. Uh, the trend function uh, outputs one if uh, if stock price rise and minus one if stock price fall uh, and zero otherwise. Uh, here we only focus on the strictly rise and uh, strictly fall in this part. So the uh, so the uh, rise and fall accuracy function is defined as a percentage of the number of correct prediction days and the total days. Uh, the total uh, we note uh, we need to note notice that the total days is uh, n minus one because any two uh, consecutive days only have one rise or fall trend. Uh, next page, please. Uh, for training parts, we use for uh, we we use four different data sets uh, to train the uh, to train the uh, stacked uh, attention LSTM models. Uh, with four uh, with four different uh, uh, with four sets of different uh, parameters, then we use validation sets to tune the parameters. Uh, the figure the figures on the slide is an example of training results and validation results of SHA data set with tuned parameters. To avoid overfitting, we set dropout rate is zero point two. Uh, besides, uh, we we stop training. Uh, Besides, we, we stop training when training loss is small enough. Uh, here we can see uh, the model stop uh, stop training uh, after 135 epochs. And from the bottom uh, from the bottom plot, we see the prediction price is much uh, is very close to the real price. Next page, please. Uh, here is our evaluation results of predi of uh, of stock price prediction on three different stocks: Apple stocks, Amazon stocks, and the Facebook stocks. We can see we use the red to highlight the smallest MAPE, which means the Amazon models uh, uh, have better uh, have better performance than the other two. Uh, and the compare uh, compare. Compare with the Apple Apple model and the Facebook model, uh, we can say the RMSE of Apple model is much smaller than uh, a Facebook model, so the, the performance of Apple model is much better. Uh, next page, please. Uh, here is the plot of our our result. Next, please. Uh, to further evaluate our our outcomes, we use some approaches like ARIMA to to see if the outcomes can be better. We created an ARIMA model. The parameter PDQ of the ARIMA model were set to be 21 and 0, which is based on the MSE on the training set and the time step we want. This actually makes the model an ARIMA model where no differencing was performed to change the stationarity. And the prediction depends on the stock data of a certain time period, which is 20 days. As we can see from the table, the RMSE ob obtained from the ARIMA model for those three stocks are either similar or worse than our outcomes. Here are the figures of predicted and the real data plot on the test set of the three stocks respectively. Uh, we found several interesting observations on, on the ARIMA outcomes. First, the performance varies in the stocks in a great extent. Secondly, the, uh, the, when the test set is getting further and further away from the train set, the accuracy goes down dramatically. So to sum up, the ARIMA model gives a linear prediction for the test data. Even the, fork, 
Even the forecasted trend is opposite to the real price trend. The results suggested ARIMA model did not perform well in predicting non-linearity and long-term prediction, at least not as good as our model. Next page. <clears throat> Uh, another way to evaluate our model is to examine the portfolio. Here are two strategies we are using. Long only strategy. Uh, this is the strategy when we only take, uh, take actions when the prediction is positive. If the prediction is positive, we buy the stock at open price and sell the stock at closed price in the same day. If the prediction, uh, if the prediction is negative, no action is taken. And second is the long short strategy. When the prediction is positive, the action taken is same to the long only strategy. But if the prediction is negative, uh, we short sale the stock at open price and close out to the short sale at the close price. Notice that our tra trading strategy is an intraday trading strategy, meaning that we do not hold positions overnight. So we only take actions on the same day. And here are the outcome of the experiment. Uh, the return, uh, the return, the return rate on stock Apple in two weeks, which is also ten trading days, are one hundred and thirty-one percent and ninety-nine percent. Next page. Uh, okay, to sum up, our project establishes a for forecasting framework to predict the price of stocks. We leverage the combination of stock statistics as input data. We propose, developed, and trained, or, and also tested our, our models. Uh, and built up four metrics along with long only, long short trading strategy according to our model predictions. Uh, and of course, we have several problems of disadvantage on our, uh, on our project. Long-term predicting is very hard as, as the test data goes further away from the trained data, the results are become worse. That is being because that that is because the noise, like corporate statistics or news, may influence the, the stock price potentially. And secondly, stacked LSTM sometimes does not have a better model performance over the single as LSTM model due to the potential of overfitting. So in future, uh, I'll be really interesting to see if the volatility of the stock's time series can be solved. This problem can be solved, and I'm looking forward to see how attention LSTM performs on denoise data. And here are some references we have referred to. Thanks very much for watching our video.